Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out the Film Geek, and today I'm talking about the 2006 film for your consideration. Well, let's yeah. talk movies. Okay. okay? Movies. Mm -hmm. There's nothing going on uh, in movies right now for you. I mean, it's just, and this, this is, this is the thing. There was just, okay, there's no interest. Okay. I mean, you're like a cold piece of toast, and I'm not going to candy coat things for you because if you want candy coated information, you, you go, go someplace, go one of the bigger agencies. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I, and the, my thing is to say it like it is. But right now, I don't think film is what we should be focusing on. Quite frankly, I think television is where we should be looking. For Your Consideration is directed by Christopher Guest, and it's starring Catherine O'Hara, Eugene Levy, Harry Shear, Jennifer Coolidge, Parker Posey, Fred Willard, and Jane Lynch. While filming a small independent film named Home for Porum, a rumor starts to buzz around that there's Oscar consideration for three of its stars. So that would be the first time in history that someone would be considered for a nomination of an Oscar while filming the movie. Just like all Christopher Guest mockumentaries, this film does not have a script. The way it works is, is there's a rough outline allowing the actors to know what's going to happen next and then they just kind of wing it. So yeah, even before they start filming, no rehearsals, nothing. This is all completely right off the top of their heads. Now, as I said, this movie is about the making of another movie, and that movie is called Home for Purim. Now, Purim is a lesser known Jewish holiday, and it's a holiday where they celebrate the victory over genocide as described in the book of Esther. Okay, now back to the mockumentary. Filmed on a budget of $10 million, this film only made $5 million, so I'm not surprised if you've never heard of this movie. Critics also were divided on this film. It's sitting on Rotten Tomato with a 53%. Now what that tells me is that this film is made for people with a particular kind of humor, and that person is me. So what do I like about this movie? Well, first off, I'm just going to talk about Fred Willard and Jane Lynch. First off, let's talk about those frosted tips, okay? Fred Willard with frosted tips, a faux hawk, a fake tan. He's just goofy as hell in this entire movie. Not to mention Jane Lynch. She looks hilarious in that weird Rachel style haircut that she has and dyed blonde hair. And the way she stands and her body movement, it's just, it's just hilarious. One thing about this movie is too, it doesn't focus so much on the documentary style of storytelling in this movie. It's kind of like a good example would be Parks and Rec, where it starts off where it is kind of a mockumentary, but later in it comes to feel more like a scripted type of comedy or drama. And this movie does that also. There are documentary moments with like the news crews and the media when they're being interviewed for the Oscars and things of that sort. There's those moments, but then there's also moments when you're like, they're just at home. and. It's not like they're being filmed right now. How's this, how's, how are we seeing this? So there is that, which is fine. It doesn't kill the movie. In fact, you don't even really notice it. It doesn't hurt anything. But I'm just saying that this one doesn't focus as much on the mockumentary style as like Waiting for Guffman or Spinal Tap. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of another Film Geek video. Thanks again for watching. If you liked what you saw here today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like, and ring the bell for notifications. And as I always like to say, folks, keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.